That's what, that's what they're, what they're what reasoning for. and writing about. Absolutely. Um, before you get the clues, let me just remind you of the prizes you're playing for. We've got the Manic Street Preachers Greatest Hits on DVD, we've got the film Human Traffic on DVD, uh, we've got the Best Air Guitar Album 2, uh, on CD, uh, Groove Armadas, is this their current album? Yeah. I guess it's not selling very well, they're still trying to promote that. You can have that as well. If you are a fan of the Ford Fiesta TV ad, of the Vodafone TV adverts, you will love the- You will uh, love- you <laughs> didn't think you liked Indy. <laughs> well, you do. <laughs> exactly, and that's got, uh, Feeder and Travis and Badly Drawn Boy and all sorts on there. Plus, my own copy, six ninety nine. it cost me, uh, The Pelican Brief, starring Julia Roberts and Denzel Washington. If you've not seen that, panned and scanned on VHS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so what right. are the clues? Do you what know what a pelican, uh, I read the other day that has mm -hmm. to turn its head upside down to eat. Give us the clues. So, Rockbusters- Well, let me just explain. A, a bird, a bird has a, has a gullet, an esophagus and a gullet is all in one thing. It hasn't got peristalsis, which is the movement that we have that can make food. Uh, so a bird has to- can only rely on gravity. Yeah. So, it- it has to have its head up and has to shake, it can't eat- You were there. gonna say that, weren't you, Carl? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Rockbusters, um, you mentioned it earlier, one of last week's was, it's a cryptic clue and then some initials. I was in Texas, I fell in a puddle on my knees, knees got wet, uh, WH. Wet knee Houston. Yeah. That's the sort of thing, thing we can do. Use of the word knee twice there in the cryptic <laughs> clue <laughs> and in the final. And the word answer. wet, I think you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is wit. Yeah. So fine. Good. So, um, there's three of them. It's email only, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Sure. Load of stuff to win. Here they go. Right, the first one. I'm writing these clue. down. Go on. Making it of them. Um, the fella has only got one badge left. <laughs> <laughs> the fella has only got one badge left. Yeah. What are the initials? That's just E. Just E? Oh, just E. Just E. The okay. fella has only got one badge left. This is either a solo artist or a band. Yeah. Um, second one. The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. Say that again? The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. Yeah. What's M the initial? M D. M D. M D. And finally. I really, really, uh, I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That's M. Now, give, I think us that, give us that one again. I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. And that's right. M. Right, okay. now I've got that one. Right. Okay. So, that's it's great. That's lovely. So, uh, yeah, That's great. I think, I think the, the second and third one's quite easy. First one is a killer. Is it tricky? Yeah, it's a tricky one. So, uh, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk and what, we pick a winner out at about quarter to two or something Quarter like to two, that? yeah, absolutely. No, quarter to three, what am I talking about? Quarter to three. Yeah. So, uh, so there you go. That's dynamite stuff, well done, Carl. Excellent. More, uh, educating Ricky next. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right, isn't it? Travis, love will come through. Mm -hmm. Quite like that, That's on right. XFM 104.9. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington in the chair. We've had the, uh, we've had the answers in. It's Rockbusters. Mm -hmm. It's the results. Yeah. Carl, yeah, yeah. give us the winning answers. Right, Steve, you search for a winner. I so will. At yeah, random. We can yep. slip into that. So, the first one was, the fella's only got one badge left. I have no idea. The initial was E. Go on. Will I get out the answer now, Yeah, Steve? give the answer, yeah. I think on. you should. That was his last sticker. Yeah? E Elastica, the band Elastica. I'm right, not doesn't sure- doesn't work, no. doesn't work. The word- the word sticker and the and the ba- yeah. and a badge are not interchangeable. And it's not his last sticker, it's Elastica. Yeah, but, like, his last sticker. So, <laughs> someone's got it. Oh! Um, so, so, so say a different word and it works. <laughs> oh, so if the band is Elastica, then it works. <laughs> God, if only Justin would have named it different. if she'd have just gone- Let's call it Islastica. <laughs> then we'd have, yeah. Second one. Um, what was the clue? The unmarried lady is a friendly out with. Go on. That's Miss Dynamite. Miss Dynamite. Doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, but it's been running for four weeks. We've done, we've done the obvious. Doesn't ones, work. Miss, Doesn't uh, work. Miss Dynamite. Again, if she'd have called herself <laughs> Miss Dynamite, it would work. She didn't. <laughs> See, what, what's happening is pop stars are letting you down by naming <laughs> themselves incorrectly for your clues. Those don't work. They don't count. <laughs> and the last one, I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That yeah. was M. Yeah. That was Madonna. Yeah, Madonna. I'm, I'm gonna give you that. That worked, yeah. Right, um, 
that's the end of that feature until you can get ones that work. Okay? So you won't hear any more of that because <laughs> it's rubbish. You're running out already. <laughs> I do, sorry, harsh. do you just think of the first three things that come in your mind and make them fit? Just no, think of three bands and make a clue, and if it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I just, I just went through again. Rubbish. It was, uh, it was rubbish. Whatever. Right, play a record. Hang on, we've got a winner. We have. Uh, actually, you say all this, Rick, but lots of people got them right. Which, yeah. So I don't know what that proves, really. I don't know if that says, you know, you're the tosser or. Or they're or... as stupid as Carl. One or the other. Okay. But uh, I'm going to give it to Simon and Daisy and Hitchin. They uh, got the right answers, and uh, well done to them. They get the Pelican Brief and some <laughs> other treats. <laughs> Serves you right. <laughs> I look forward Serves to Serves you right for understanding Carl. <laughs> Excellent. Um, right, Rockbusters. So, Rockbusters. Um, we, you know, it's a little clue, some initials, three different clues. You email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. You can win the, the load of stuff that we've got. So, um, first one. Um, Here's the clue. Stop throwing that fruit about. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. And what's the initial? That's C B. C B. C B. Stop throwing that fruit about. Yeah. All right. Is Anders listening? Has he emailed us in yet? Anders, not had a, not had any response from Anders. I'll keep uh, keep. Maybe he hasn't stopped listening because right. he doesn't like the show. He's gone off. I hope he's gone off the show. <laughs> so on. uh, the second one. Um, that Scottish fella has made an error. That Scottish fella has made an error. Yeah, that's Interesting. that's M. Him. Right, that right. Scottish fella has made an error. Right, okay. and uh, the last one, uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with them. <laughs> <laughs> you can make a right load of toast with them. Yeah. All right. What's the and that's, there? that's G. G. I was thinking it might be bread for a minute, but no. Mm -hmm. G. So, uh, so just very quickly, stop throwing that fruit about CB. <laughs> I've got, I've got the last one. Right. Scottish <laughs> fella. It doesn't work. It doesn't count. Doesn't count. Well. That Scottish fella's made an error, that's M, and uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with M, that's G. Email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk and you can- We've got the CDs, we've got horses, we've got mammals on VHS, we've got U2, uh, we've got a couple of CDs including Johnny Cash. Here's a new tune from a, a, a new fella called Papa Garcia. See what you think of this. Uh, see, if he was on MTV I couldn't say his name. Why? What is it again? Papa Garcia. Right, here's a new one from Papa Garcia. Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> for us, then call up because Carl will like you. You'll be friends with Carl, mm -hmm. won't you? Yeah. Quick, the clues. What's the answers? We always do this. We're running so out of time. Don't worry, we've got a tune, and then we'll come back with the answers for sure. Rockbusters. A lot of great prizes. All right, um, we'll have a bit of uh, cash. Yeah. Johnny Cash. One of the prizes we're giving away. Johnny Cash and Desperado. That's from his new album, uh, which is a collection of new songs and covers, which is one of the prizes given away on this week's Rockbusters. And uh, can we have the clues and the answers and the winners? Yeah. Um, first one was stop throwing that fruit about. Stop throwing that fruit about. The that answer was is C B. That was Chuck Berry. <laughs> 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 of course it is. Okay. All yeah, right. I'll give you that. Um, the one that you've worked out, I'll do next. The yeah. uh, God, you make a load of toast with them. That Grillers. was G. Gorillas. Gorillas, though, isn't it? Gorillas. Um, and the middle one <laughs> was that Scottish fellas made an error. That was Mystique. <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> so. Oh, did anyone get that? Extraordinarily, almost all the people who emailed in and I'm really, I'm going right. to think it's us then. It's because I, I, I was thinking mistake, I was thinking muck error yeah. and muck mistake and, but mistake. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, do you want to pick a winner? Yeah, I was going to give it, the, the prizes to uh, Amy Massey, who's uh, from Wiltshire, the West Country. <laughs> Losers down there. Probably as weird as you. Yeah. So uh, she's won, and congratulations to her. I'm assuming she's listening online or maybe uh, via some kind of. Um, we must, well, I think we must have a lot of listeners outside London because all these are from Norwich and. Yeah. Have we got any listeners in London? <laughs> Places, you know, it's where there's a lot of inbreeding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing else to do. <laughs> exactly. Norwich and Wiltshire. Well, you know. Cheers for that, Amy. Well done. He yeah. waved then when he said that. He did, yeah. He uh, waved. He's, he's working. No, he's working, uh, getting ready for TV. Of course he is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think he's so coming is that this week. Could, is it? Can it be arranged for this week? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I sort it out. Carl Pilkington, the man of the moment, with his rockbusters coming your way with all those great prizes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Are we? Uh, yeah. We're doing it now. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I noticed Heat Magazine sort of put a bit of a spanner in the works. Why? Because they were saying, oh, maybe it'll be a Christmas edition of Rockbusters. And I'd already sorted them out. I wouldn't worry, Carl. Well, what I've done, I've cleverly tweaked them to make them Christmassy. Oh, so the Christmas bit in it has got nothing to do with 
with it whatsoever, but I just thought. <laughs> so you mean yeah. that clues have a Christmas element? Well, yeah. But, 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 but it's nothing to do with the answer. Nothing, yeah, it's nothing to do with the answer. Right. So why don't you just ask the normal ones and I'll, I'll ring a bell, I'll yeah. shake some bell, I'll well, go it's ho, the ho, ho, ho. of that, but in sort of speech. Right. Brilliant. So the first oh. one, um, there's a load of letters, uh, there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Oh, and, uh, have a good Christmas. <laughs> 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 ah! Oh! No, give it, give it to us again. <laughs> oh God! Right, so there's a load of letters asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Owen, oh, have a good Christmas. Right, right. But bear in mind, people, that the Christmas element may not be relevant no, to these. No, I've got nothing to do with it. I don't want to. Okay. You know. And the initial letter is F. Right? That's F. All right. Right. Next the second one. one. <laughs> uh, ask your mum if you should. After you've wrapped the presents. <laughs> right, so ask, ask your mum if you should. Ask your mum if you should after you've wrapped the presents. That's, right. um, that's S. 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 All right. All right. Okay. And the last one, um, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter, but it's busy in there because it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's probably what brought it on. So oh. that's, that's B. Right? Oh. B. B. Oh, God. So they're the, they're the three. Will I just, uh, recap? Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, I, I so, have no idea. So I can't even- one. I don't know what to start thinking. I, well. All right, there's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Have a good Christmas. Uh, have a good Christmas. <laughs> uh, second one, ask your mum if you should. After you write the present. S. And the last one, a couple of people were arguing, arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter. But it's busy in there because it's, it's Christmas. It's busy it's Christmas. That's a B. Yeah. So they're the three things. It's email only, this one, uh, please remember that. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Mm. Uh, Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Carl looks Brilliant. happy with them. He yeah, looks really, really happy with them. So they're cracking. Right, they're good. Yeah, they're good, pleased with so. them. Alright, is right. there going to be more rock, rock busters in the new year? We're not sure. Um, I'm, I'm still, you know, thinking about new ideas mm -hmm. that we can do. I'll, I'll get a little gift then, Carl. All right. That'd be good, wouldn't it? It'd be a nice little... Okay, answers. We must give the answers. You would have to go to bed at six, though, so right. we can play. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's the last clues of the year. You had, uh, there's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Go that on, was no F. Idea. That was for Foreigner. For Rainer. I don't know what you mean. Claire Rayner, she took advice, she gave people advice. So that's a foreigner. I that is shit. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, that might be Christmas, that is absolute dark. A lot of people got the right answer. I know, yeah, well that annoys me even well. more. Number the two. second one, ask your mum. Foreigner. Yeah. Foreigner. Um, second one, ask your mum if you should. That was S, that was Shalimar. 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 Right? No, bizarrely, what was the clue there? Ask your mum if you should. Now we got a lot of people saying smashing pumpkins as the answer to that. <laughs> but I don't know who's saying that today, mum. Smashing pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, mum. Smashing Thanks pumpkins. Thanks very much. <laughs> nice bollocks. <laughs> <Right. laughs> oh, that's <laughs> great. That's great. Right. Smashing pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> your dad bought them for me for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Ah! And the last one, um... <laughs> Lovely plums. <laughs> <laughs> what my Victoria's? <laughs> oh, God! Right, we've got to wrap oh. it up, we've got to wrap it up. Come on, then. Uh, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter. <laughs> that was B, that was banana drama. They were, like, having an argument. What's banana drama? <laughs> what, what, no, wait, 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 wait. What group is banana drama? What group is banana drama? So. You're a fool. You're a twat. <laughs> well, you say that, but you accuse her, you accuse Carl of that. You're also accusing lots of the listeners, including the winner, yeah. Nicola Rogers, uh, of London, and she wins those great prizes, and she got them bang on, so. Banana so drama. Well, so, can we finish there now? Yeah. yeah what do you mean? What do you mean, can we finish there now? Just, just play the ads and go. What? No, we're, what are you talking about? We're going to play Jamie Mitchell. Oh, Jamie Mitchell, we're going to play that then. Goodness me, Carl. Oh, look at you. Oh, we haven't got time. Merry Christmas, Carl. Come Merry Christmas, Carl. Enjoy the system. Let's give him a little kiss. Uh, oh, a little kiss. Oh, no, good times, good times. It's Christmas. But at the moment, we've got rock busters. Okay. okay. So, uh, these are mine. Um, number one, you've been dunking that for too long. That's LB. You've right, been so dunking that for too long. Oh God, that's too easy. 
That's yeah, too I easy. I always tease them, don't I? I give them something to make them feel like they're gonna win something and then I, I hit them hard with a tricky one. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, go on. So, the first one, so that's the cryptic clue for a band or an artist. Their initials are LB and yeah. the cryptic clue, you've been dunking that for too long. Yeah. So that's the first one. Second one, uh, you won't be able to play that game in this pub because the table ain't big enough. Right? <laughs> Could be an old artist, could be a new one, could be a band. What's the initials? Uh, F D. Alright? F D. You won't be able to play that game in this pub. The table ain't big enough. And the final one, uh, well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's over. Right? Yeah. That's that's the third cryptic clue. The initials being G K. Right? Yeah. Well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's over. They're the three clues. All you gotta do is email in Ricky <laughs> That's great. That's genius. Which one? The last one. All right. That yeah, is genius. Any, That's the best one you've ever done. All right. Uh, Ricky <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And then the middle one. At UK. Okay. Email in them three answers. You win the stuff. We have still got edge. Cheers for that, Oliver. Um, <laughs> Olivia. Olivia. Yeah. Don't, don't see your email coming up with the Rockbusters answers, so well, <laughs> let's, you uh, give us the answers let's again. give them out. Uh, the first <laughs> one was, um, you've been dunking that for too long. That yeah. was LB. Uh, Limp Biscuit. Limp Biscuit. Yeah, got that one. Uh, the third one, we'll jump to that one because you've got it. Uh, well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's all over. That was GK. That's a great one. That's Glad, glad it's night. Glad it's night. Glad it's night. That's glad that it's is night. brilliant. Part. And the one that uh, you're both having a problem with, uh, you won't be able to play that game in this pub. The table ain't big enough. FD. Go on. Fats Domino. Yeah. What? The dominoes. You play dominoes in a pub. The the dominoes fat. Pub tables are quite small. You won't be able to play that game in this pub. Fats Domino. Rubbish. <laughs> so, do you want to pick a winner? Random rubbish. Winner? Well, winner? you say it's rubbish, but plenty of people got the right answer. Rubbish. Who um, do you want to go with? The bunch of um, slightly rubbish prizes <laughs> is, is going to Elliot K <laughs> from Chigwell in Essex. Uh, well done to Elliot. I, I just w I, can before we go. Well, it's uh, it's coming up to one thirty. And so it's time for Rockbusters. It's a structured <laughs> show, it's a new leaf. This show in the new year is going to be structured. Set pieces, um, hitting our marks, do you know what I mean? There'll be time checks, uh, uh, weather checks, <laughs> a bit cold out. Um, if you, if you, if you're driving, careful on that. <laughs> so do the prizes. Water check for traffic, like yeah, if it's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well again, an arbitrary selection of, uh, goodies. What are those politicians doing? <laughs> <laughs> Was that XFM news? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> right, what have we got? So we've got, uh, for those that are a fan of the movie Donnie Darko, which a lot of people rave about this year, a sort of weird teenage movie, then, uh, there's a sort of, uh, sweatshirt there. It is actually quite nice. It's not bad at all. It's, uh, it's medium, so if you, if you're a bit of a bloater, mm. don't bother to apply, unless you've got a friend already. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we've also got here, um, a Graham Norton video. Certificate 18. All this. <laughs> so, it, please don't phone up unless, or d sorry, don't email in unless you're above the age of 18. Yeah. Um, and that's, I think, the best of his TV show. Yeah. Look forward to that. It's um, a big stiff video, that, isn't it? It's a big <laughs> stiff <laughs> cock of a video. <laughs> Thanks oh, very much. I meant you the. Can't say, yeah, yeah, you meant the bird. Yeah. Um, there's also a fairly mediocre British wartime thriller, Enigma, um, which a lot of people, it was hyped for a while, but it's actually interminable, I've seen it. <laughs> um, the, uh, first series here of The Kumars at number 42 on DVD, uh, I think that's award winning, so, uh, that's available as well. We've got two CDs by the look of it. We've got, uh, Pulp's Greatest Hits, which I don't think sold very well. And so presumably they are giving that away. <laughs> and Johnny Cash's um, current uh, album, uh, American for the Man Comes Around, there's some good cover versions there. Again, another big sell. A big yeah. sell. We're really pushing um, this. But it, it, yeah, it's a quite kooky. Uh, Johnny Cash here does covers of things including Personal Jesus. Oh, all right. By Depeche Mode. Right, yeah. uh, we've got Bridge Over Troubled Water, his version of that. <laughs> Desperado. <laughs> and uh, anyway, it's, it's not bad. That's probably the best treat in that bunch. And, right. Uh, I'm assuming there's some questions there, Carlo. Yeah, yeah. Right, here we uh, go. If you're a new listener, the way it works, I'll give you a cryptic clue and some wow. initials, and it sort of makes up a band. Yeah. Um, makes more sense when you hear it, I reckon. Not particularly. Well, not really. Although so, people do get it. I mm. just worry about the. The state of our listeners. <laughs> Go on. Right, so there's three of them. You email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. It's email only. I email repeat, only. it is email only. We, we have a email. Lazy <laughs> to answer the phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. here we go then. Number one. Um, there's, there's normally two easy ones and a difficult one. Sure. So here we go. 
Uh, number one. Don't argue with him, he ain't gonna change his mind. Don't argue with him, he ain't gonna change his mind. Yeah, that's AA. AA. That's, yeah. So Just that's the first one. He's not gonna change his mind. Um. What do you mean, um? You just, just, just got them written out, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm just thinking about what the answer is, so I don't write the answer down to Oh, one. for God. Don't <laughs> worry, they'll get it. Yeah, don't well, worry. Um, but you, yeah. Well, you can't remember it. You came up with it. There's only three. I know, I know. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not weird. It's incompetent. <laughs> right, the second one, anyway. I, I hope you get this. Um, <laughs> I hope you get this. <laughs> you know, I didn't tell us the answer. <laughs> this is a shambles, isn't it? Hang on a Come minute. On, keep going. Go keep on. on. He always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. P. <laughs> and you don't know. You don't know that is. It'll, I'm sure it'll come to me once I see it on email. If, uh, what do you mean? If, once they get it, you'll agree with them. I'll know if it's the one I had down as the answer. This is brilliant. Come Imagine on, it's Jeremy Paxman doing that again. Yeah, University what, Times. Is that right? <laughs> Go on. Right. So uh, that's give that us, one. Give us that one again. Um, he always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. P. But you're confused. I don't understand how you can be confused. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and the, the, third, the third one, uh, oh. I'll have to put that woman in the oven. And that's A, B. Alright, quickly give us them again. Right, so the first one, don't argue with him, he ain't, he ain't gonna change his mind. That's A, A. Um, he always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. That's P. And, um, I'll have to put that woman in the oven. A, B. Alright, okay. ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. I'm gonna play a classic track now by oh, uh, Neil Young, Alabama. Oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. Mm. Point nine. Nearly it. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Plumpton. So the answers to this week's Rockbusters. Yeah, yeah. Can you give us the clues uh, again in the answers? Yeah. Uh, the first one was, um, don't argue with him. He ain't gonna change his mind. The initials there were AA. That's Adamant. Adamant. Yeah. All right. That's Stop good. That's, That's good. a good one. Uh, second one. He always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. Uh, that was P. Uh, that was picks his. Right. <laughs> picks his. Picks his. It kind of works. Yeah. yeah. And the uh, third one. I'll oh, have well, to, I'll let uh, you have that one. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to put that woman in an oven. That was A B. That was Anita Baker. <laughs> Anita Baker. <laughs> it's good. Anita Baker. Anita yeah, Baker. I'll let you have all three today. So, uh, You've done well. So, do you want to pick a winner, Steve? Well done to Mark Ledder from Bo. He wins those fairly mediocre prizes. <laughs> 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 Enjoy them. Oh, brilliant. Let's chill out album ever, the best air guitar volume two. And of course, for all our fans, Doctor Who, The Aztecs. That's on DVD <laughs> and that's uh, one of the William Try Hartnell again. Doctor Who. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's the worst impression I've ever heard. <laughs> That's brilliant. Right, then. Right, uh, three, three, uh, cryptic stuff. Oh, come on. Right, Rodney, you the real Three, I, I can't do it. No, come on! Right, three, uh, three, uh, cryptic, um, Clues, <laughs> some of which may be wrong. <laughs> yeah, and uh, don't take the letters literally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, go on. And, and some initials, and it makes up of a uh, makes up a band. So um, <laughs> here we go then. Uh, there's three of them. You email in Ricky at xfm.co.uk. Yeah. Right, here we go then. Yep. Uh, number one, uh, <laughs> the weather stinks, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the weather stinks, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, that's R. That's R. Right. The weather stinks, doesn't it? Yeah. Second one. Um, Look, Grant, just get on the boat and help us out. <laughs> All right, give us that again. Look, Grant, just get on the boat and help us out. Look, Grant, just get on the boat and help us out. What's yeah. the initial? R again. R again, interesting. Yeah. And then the third one, uh, <laughs> if you're going to do that with your drink, I'd let it settle for a bit before you open it. CK. CK. All right. What's so, more? So quickly, all the way through then. Number one, uh, the weather stinks, doesn't it? That's <laughs> R. Uh, look, Gran, just get on the boat and help us out, will you? That's R as well. And then the last one, if you're gonna do that to your drink, I'd let it settle for a bit before you open it. C-K. Ricky.Gervais at xfm.co.uk. Brilliant. Fantastic. Right, we'll have a bit of vinyl. Let's have a classic, let's have a classic from right. the, uh, the Merchant Collection. Right, rockbusters, rockbusters. Some people like tall men. <laughs> yeah, go on. That's yeah. Uh, right. right, first one. Uh, 
the weather stinks, doesn't it? Yeah. That was R, which was rainbow. Right? Rainbow? Like, like rain is the weather and it smells like bow. Body bow? Odor. Body odour. No, so it's B-O. It's B-O. That's it's B-O. It's B-O. Well, yeah, but you've got to play- It's not pronounced bow and it's not spout bow. Um, who calls it bow? Everyone knows it's B-O. Um, <laughs> what, you don't care? You don't care that that doesn't work? Well, they got it, so again, as long one as person it, got as it, as long Carl. As it. One person got it. Of all the emails, one person got it. Um, second one, uh, look, Gran, just get on the boat, will you, and help us out. Go on. That was R. That was Ronan. Ronan, right? Ronan, who's Ronan? <laughs> Ronan. Ronan. Who's Ronan? Ronan? Ronan Keaton. But he's known well, as Ronan Keaton. Keaton. No, it's okay. not. No, it's not anymore though. He's gone on, on his own, hasn't he? He's just known as Ronan. No, he's not. No, he's not. It's Ronan Keating. He's always been known as Ronan Keating. All right. Um, <laughs> so that doesn't work either. Go on. Third one. <laughs> Next. Uh, if you're going to do that to your drink, I'd let it settle for a little bit before you open it. That was CK. What? Shake a can. Shake a can. If you're going to shake, <laughs> you can. This is the worst competition ever. So it's Chaka. Have, have you got? It's a Chaka. It's Chaka. It's Chaka Khan. Shake a Khan. No, Chaka Khan. What you got? Chaka Khan might have worked. Is, to who, throw a can. Who got all three right then? Well, well, because basically what happened was people we're just emailed this. in three guesses. We're stopping and this. The, and the guesses that were right came from Mandy Thompson in Hendon. That's ruined but that frankly, one. Then. Well, that's that's run that into the ground. That's do we need him ruined? No, we can't that's, just bin everything that's, on that's, one week. That's uh, I, I don't think we're going to get that. Oh, they're not as good as they think they are because you're only picked on Newton Einstein. You don't know anyone else. You don't know who Gandhi is. Um, uh, chimpanzee, that you've you've run out of. Uh, I did like, like the that. jingle for that though. <laughs> oh, chimpanzee that! That was a great jingle. Yeah. But sadly, um, we won't be able to use that again. So who's won, anyway? Well, it was Mandy Thompson I mentioned, but as I say, she guessed, so I mean, she can have the prizes, she's welcome to them. But, uh, yeah. I think well, we should knock it on the head, Carl. Maybe we should come up with something yeah. new. No, I think it's still got a few weeks in it. I think we should ta take some time off. Well. <laughs> yeah. What about, like, the foreseeable future? Don't know. Song for the lovers. Do you want to just play A song for the or ladies. Or? Listen, um, you know what's a, you know, I think it's maybe the March issue of Company Magazine. By that, uh, top 50 most eligible people. There's probably an address or a phone number to call. And here's another song for the ladies, maybe just to charm you further. Tom the Model by Beth Gibbons and Rustin Man. Carl, say and goodbye and say, say it nicely like you're happy. See you later. Oh, is that the best you can do? Oh, Rockbusters, Carl? Yeah. I'm not a champion of Rockbusters, as you know, but I think it's overstayed its welcome. But I'm well, going to go I along think with Carl's it. just giving the fans what they want here. Okay. It's Good a popular point. thing, isn't it? Got the, some good prizes. The press well, behind it. <laughs> let me tell you what the prizes are. Uh, it's a dance music compilation, Cream Trance Anthems 2003. Brilliant. I play a lot of trance on well, this Well, I, I put that on quite a lot and don't <laughs> exactly. do it myself. Uh, there's the uh, original motion picture soundtrack to the forthcoming film Adaptation. When you've seen the film, uh, I'm sure that will mean more to you. You it's like that, good, don't you? It's a good movie, yeah. Nicolas Cage I playing himself and a twin brother. And uh, it's written by uh, Spike, uh, it's directed by Spike John. Joined at the, uh, what? Uh, no, no, they're not joined mm. at the hip at all. No. Or, or at the face. And uh, we've also got the best one-hit wonders album in the world ever. What we've got on there, we've got things like uh, The Crazy World of Arthur Brown, brilliant. Um, Nana, 99 Red Balloons. The Rembrandt. In fact, it kicks off with Nana. Sure. Uh, that's followed up by I'll Be There For You, the theme from Friends by the Rembrandts. Yeah. And of course, Breakfast at Tiffany's by Deep Blue Something. Brilliant. Deep Blue Something. <laughs> is that the worst name ever? <laughs> I think it possibly is. No, Sixpence None the Richer. Sixpence None the Richer. That's, that's a pretty good. bad name. Okay, again, we, we I know we've got a lot of uh, Chill Out fans who listen yeah, to yeah, us. So, um, yeah, 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 the best yeah. Chill Out album ever. Yeah. Bear in mind, of course, all these prizes collated by uh, Carl from, I guess, People's Drawers. Yeah, looking in a drawer, looking in a drawer. <laughs> oh, dearie me. What is it? The only thing probably worth having is a, um, I mean, it's topical, if nothing else, Carl. A seven inch by the White Stripes, Merry Christmas from the White Stripes. That was their, um, exclusive Brilliant. Christmas single. So, if so that's, it's, it's that's early, isn't it? That's it's, it's you get that. It is worth A lot of people have got to wait 11 months before that's released. Yeah. Or is it last Christmas is? <laughs> exactly. And I have never heard of this DVD. Go on. I like to think of myself as being fairly familiar with TV and films, but I have never heard of Stephen King's Rose Red. <laughs> Welcome on to DVD. a place evil calls home. And uh, it's on DVD, it's certificate 12, so don't imagine anything too shocking. And it looks uh, appalling. Is Rose Red Mansion truly haunted to find out Professor da 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 so might da 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 Okay, we've got the gist of it. They're not very good prizes, to... they're cobbled together, but if you've got nothing better to do, call in if you know the answers to these clues. It's Rockbusters. Let's not right, let them so call in, Rick. Please don't let you... these people call in. I no, no, some, they're not uh... calling in, it's email only. Carl, don't interrupt me. I'm just... Um, Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk 
Email only. I can't stress that enough. We just don't want to speak to you people. <laughs> right, go on. Right, so I give some initials out and a cryptic clue and it makes up the answer and that. Well, sometimes it does, yeah. Go there's on. two of them, <laughs> there's a new aspect which I'll explain about in a minute. Oh, so, God. the first one is, uh, cryptic clue is, well, if he would have been wearing an helmet he would have been alright. <coughs> and the initial there is B, right? So, well, if he would have been wearing an helmet he would have been alright. B, right? Uh, band or an artist. Second one. Uh, why are them Jamaican fellas swinging fish around their head? <laughs> okay. All right. Initials this fills me with D S oh. D S. Why are them Jamaican men swinging fish around their head? All right. And the uh, final bit <laughs> two rockbusters. Uh, it's a new bit. Last week I played you this. <laughs> Right. With it. That's uh, that's someone beating up a dog. That was smack my bitch up, right? So here's some sound effects and that, and they make up a song. <laughs> <laughs> I can listen to him talk Hang on, all day. Let's have a listen to the effects. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. terrifying. Right, I told you not to play that one. It's rubbish. No one will get that. Well, we'll see. I heard that a couple of weeks ago. I said, I said it's rubbish. No one will get it. No, it's not the one you think it is. Ah, right. So, um, email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk and you can win that stuff. I'm a little bit confused. Let me. T I, I, I'm here. I've heard what you're saying. We've discussed this in the past. I don't know what's happening. What's that? Is that, a, is that a clue? That's a cryptic clue. That's that um, screaming to a song. Is it? Do was screaming. Well, don't say it. So it should stand up by itself. Don't give him any clue. Hang on a sec, hang on a sec. So this is the name of a song. It's not a band or an artist, yeah, the that's, sound that's, effect. That's, that's so the first that's... two are uh, bands or artists, and the, the, the last one <laughs> is the name <laughs> of a song. I said we should abandon this! I said we should just pack it in! What, the show? Yes! <laughs> Uh, right. Okay. Right. Do do the question. Do the questions and the answers. And uh, if 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 I think that it's either too hard or ungettable because it's stupid, we're binning it. Right. I thought we'd already binned it. I'm annoyed. That right. Come on. Do do the, do what was the, do do it quickly. Uh, the first one was well. If he would have been wearing an helmet, it would have been all right. Right. What's the answer? That was B. What's the answer? Busted. Right. That works. All Busted. Right. That's fair enough. Did anyone get that? I assume no. some people got. No. People have given up, Rick. People aren't even bothering to contribute. Right, what's the next one? They've just ignored it like it never happened. Uh, Busted. Second Busted. one. Um, Busted. Why are them Jamaican men swinging fish around their head? Go that on. Was, that was DS. Yeah. Uh, 70s band, Detroit Spinners. <laughs> <laughs> the Detroit Spinners have become the Detroit Spinners. Yeah. Okay. Um, Brilliant. And then the final bit, I play you some effects. Let's hear like this. this. Let's hear this. <laughs> it's terrifying, Carl. <laughs> it's <simple. gasps> Well, what's happened there? What what was happening? What no, 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 no. What's the answer? That was uh, born slippy. The woman was having a baby. The doctor tried to grab it. It fell onto the floor. <laughs> That's in your head, Carl. That's just a load of screams. That's and noise. in your head. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm. T uh, uh, do you know what? I haven't even got onto Warren Slippy. I'm still on the <laughs> Trout Spinners. Well, let's put a song. That's it. Uh, I week. don't. I, I don't know what to say. Steve, a song for the. A song for the ladies, surely. Uh, Did anyone get any of those? Let's end with Nick Drake and the beautiful River Man, and we'll see you next week. And hopefully, the will be. Trout Spinners. Ditched. The Trout Spinners. Well, don't keep saying it. <laughs> Just say it like that. Well, don't. Right, how about, right, we've got this other other thing, right, this other music thing. Yeah. How about we make that part of how it? How many competitions have you got? No, well, this is what I'm thinking, right, because we can, if, you, if you're not happy with Rockbusters, if we add a little bit to it, and they love the bit I've added, then we can slowly fade it out without them knowing. That's it, do two of your Rockbusters and th and one of these. Right. Are these the prizes, Carl? Carl? They're the prizes. Well, yeah, let's quickly, do the prizes. Let's quickly go through them then. Yeah. Alright, what we got here? Let's speed this up, because I'm dropping off yeah, now. I think it's, it's either warm in here or... or 
this isn't the most scintillating conversation we've ever had. Okay, first thing, there's a CD here. It's uh, tracks that were sampled by <laughs> uh, various artists, including Jay Z, Happy Mondays, and so on. It's the original versions. That might mm. be quite good fun. Sure. I love you. We see it's a number of love songs. Yeah. You've got uh, Blue featuring Elton John on there. Yeah. Chicago, yeah. Nat King Cole, some yeah. great stuff, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. Retro Dance Masters. Oh, yeah. That's another CD. Dance tracks, yeah. obviously, on there. Oh, it's still knocking about. The Best Air Guitar Volume Two. Sure. Rubbish. Uh, this is quite good though. It's Paul Whitehouse's uh, TV show Happiness. That's the first series on DVD. Uh, we've also got Stephen Polyakov's The Lost Prince. You can have that in your collection. Probably never watch it, but it might look like you're slightly classy and arty. And so uh, subtitles. <laughs> the best one-hit wonders album in the world ever. You got stuff on there like uh, Nana, 99 Red Balloons, yeah. and uh, M's Pop Music. So not right. that bad a selection actually this week. He's cut out some of the chaff. Right. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, right. Here we go. Right. Rockbusters. Rockbusters. First one. Uh, we'll do two of these, and I'll play something in a minute. Right. Uh, first one. Um, the Australian picks two blokes. What? The Australian picks two blokes. The Australian picks two blokes. The initial? Yeah, the initial E, right? And the second one, that builder's a bit... I've got that already. It's annoying. <laughs> okay. that, that builder is a bit cute. He's a bit cute? Yeah. All right. And that's B-T. B-T? B-T. That builder's a bit cute. Yeah. And the Australian picks two blokes, E. And then what I'm gonna do now is play some sound effects that make up a song and you've got to guess what the song is. Go on then, right? just do it and it's then the show on the Here we go, here we go. <laughs> there you go. So what song's that? It's yeah. sort of an XFM type okay, song, Okay, well that's great. Email so, so only. First, so I should just clarify that the first two are uh, band names or artist names, but that's the title of the track that we want there. Yeah, that's okay. right. It's that's so right. confusing. No one's ever going to figure this out. They will, though. They will. They'll do it. Ricky.Gervais at XFM. Hey, listen, we've got the best fans in the world, Steve. <laughs> Remember that. Remember that. <laughs> Without them, we ain't nothing. Yeah. So, good luck to you. <laughs> do you pick a track, Steve? Uh, I'd love to. I want to wear some monkey magic. I want to wear some chimpanzee that. I want to wear some aping around. <laughs> we've got that still to come. Not oh, that, I can't right? believe it. We've got Rockbusters. <laughs> that film sounds good. And we've got, oh, look at him up in Hollywood. <laughs> and we've got, like, Oh, monkey me, monkey you. We got Gibbon on the horn. <laughs> Jesse Maiden, this is a great track. Eve featuring Gwen Stefani. Let me blow your mind. XFM, 104.9. Well, moving on, moving on. Answers? Nearly done. Let's play Rockbusters. Alright, um. First one was, um. The Australian picks two blokes. Uh, the initial was E. The answer there, Im and Im. <laughs> M and M. <laughs> All right. The second one. Um, that builder is a bit cute. The initials there were B T. That was Bonnie Tyler. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then we introduced a new bit to the show. Um, that song sounds all right. These were the effects you heard. <laughs> And, uh, that was Prodigy, smack my bitch up. Who are you punching there? And, could I just say, no animal was harmed in the taping of that effect. There you go. No. Right, so have you got a winner? Yes, uh, Rob Preston from Croydon, he has got all three correct, and he wins a selection that bag of, of shite. <laughs> exactly. So, um, yeah, so good luck, enjoy that, uh, Rob. Yeah, if you can. Yeah. Sell it. Record and tape exchange in <laughs> 40 minutes of receiving it, I imagine, the one good album that he likes. <laughs> Bob didn't on the tracks for all this bag of shite, please. <laughs> Should we play a record? Absolutely. Um, uh, can I just ask now, what are we thinking with Rockbusters? Are we sticking with this? Because I really thought we'd cancelled it. What about, what about that to? format we've just done where there's like two... This is another off-air discussion, I think. Well... I just feel the listeners should be able to contribute. They do. Yeah. They phone and say, the show's rubbish, mm. move on. Marcus has emailed, um, he says no to Rockbusters, he hasn't heard it but it sounds rubbish. Believe me, you, you couldn't be more right. Well, does The Office sound good as a title? Right. Uh, this is someone else, don't bring back Rockbusters. Please can we have more holy fook? <laughs> <laughs> You're not pronouncing it right, I know, I know, I was just a bit edgy there. Um, holy, holy fuck, the little uh, Chinese fella, the so little funny- Holy fuck, the little funny Chinese fella. No, okay, alright, well, otherwise, Carl, other than those few negative ones, most people want to see the return of Rockbusters. So, do I- Okay, to, uh, go on then. Let's go. Let's do it. 
Yeah. Are these the prizes? Yeah, they're the prizes. All right, let me have a look. We've got the new album from Gold Frap. What's this one here? Oh, I've no idea. Uh, the Yardbirds. A new album from the Yardbirds. Hmm. Uh, on VHS, uh, Coogan's Run, the, uh, the, uh, show where different characters make an appearance each week, including, I think, Pauline and Paul Calf. Good stuff. Who the hell wants this? Meg Loss. Uh, a Tom Baker Doctor Who edition. And the only decent thing, really, in the collection, uh, other than Coogan's Run, is the, uh, X List, the, uh, double CD featuring lots of current indie favourites. So, um, not bad, not bad little selection there, Carl. Yeah, Rock well, uh, if you are new, you haven't heard it before, I sort of give a cryptic clue and then some well, initials. <laughs> I'd say it wasn't, it isn't cryptic. It's, it's like, what am I thinking, that might or might not be the initials that I'm gonna say. That's how you gotta think, really. Yeah. But go on. Do you wanna remind them of any? Spring to mind, just to, as a uh, exploding pet was atomic kitten. Doesn't really work. Mm. Um, um, what else? I fell down in a puddle in Texas. I got my legs wet. Uh, knelt down in a puddle. Got my legs wet. Uh, wet knee Houston doesn't work either. <laughs> wet um, knee Houston. Whitney Houston. Uh, Jamaican uh, uh, swinging a fish round. Uh, D trout spinners doesn't work <laughs> in the slightest. Doesn't work it's in idea, the slightest. It's an idea of how they work. So there's um, three of them. You email in. Um, so here we go then. Uh, number one, the gingerbread man has only got one leg. Right? The gingerbread man has only got one leg. Got the it. initials there, LB. LB. LB, right? Okay. Second one, uh, these people from the East Midlands swear a lot. Alright? These people from the East Midlands swear a lot. These people from the East Midlands swear a lot. The okay. initials TTD. Right? And, uh, the third one, have a holiday in Italy. Right? So you've done three then? TB is the initials on that one. So quickly again, the first one, Gingerbread Man's yeah, on. Yeah, I've got that like one as well. I've LB. got that one. I've got two. These people from the East Midlands swear a lot, TTD. And, uh, the third one, have a ho holiday in Italy, TB. Email in with what the songs are and you win that stuff. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Hang on, it's not the songs, it's the artists, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, just the <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, like, like he said that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fine. Email only please, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. So we got that going. Yeah, looking forward to uh, the answers on that. Bit of uh, feed would be good, wouldn't it? Alright. I love this. Well, Seabone 104.9. Good track, innit? Oh yeah, yeah. Going, going all the way back. All the way back there. Wow, Rockbusters. The results. You've had a few real answers, uh, proper answers I hear. Mm -hmm. So. Either I'm wrong, or people do think like you. I've got two of them. What are the clues again? Right. Uh, first one was, uh, the gingerbread man has only got one leg. I got that. That was LB. Limp Biscuit. Right. Yeah, uh, the that third works. One, the third one that I think you worked out. Yeah. Have, a, have a holiday in Italy. Cheering breaks. TB, cheering breaks. Yeah, this is the one I can't get. If, if this is, if there's a reason why I can't get this, we're not doing rock wrestling. Can I give the answer to this one? Uh, yeah, yeah. What's the clue? The clue, uh, these people from the East Midlands swear a lot. Yeah. TTB. TTB. The answer. T -D. T -D. T -D. Yeah, go on. Give the clue again. These people from the East Midlands swear a lot. Tourette's Trent Darby. Right, you're never doing rock wrestling again. Tourette's Trent Darby. <laughs> right, you're not <laughs> doing it. You're never doing- you've blown it. You see, you sneak that one in, you- uh, yeah, but I, I always like to sort of give to that, you know, a fairly easy, and then you, you, you sort of work out the men from the boys then, don't you? Yeah, but I, I mean, if I'd have done a character called Tourette's Boy, friend of the little Chinaman, and it went, ding dong, oh look, it's Tourette's Boy, friend of, holy fuck, fuck, holy fuck, you'd have been annoyed. Do you know what I mean? Oh, who's your mate, Durette's boy? Holy fuck. You'd have been annoyed, wouldn't you? Is that a character from Lenny Henry's show? <laughs> 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 I, I, can't, I, can't remember. I can't remember if it's Chris Moore's or Lenny Henry. Uh, yeah, one of them. Right. Anyway, the winner, lucky old Richard Perks from Birmingham. He's listening presumably on Sky. And so nice to have him listening. And that's Richard Perks. He's got those answers, all of them right. In fact, most people seem to get uh, Terence Trent Darby or Tourette's <laughs> Trent Darby. Right, Rockbusters, what have you got for us, Carl? <laughs> right. Um, there we go then. Three clues, Dig three cryptic clues, couple of initials. Email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk, win some stuff. Do you wanna 
go the through the stuff. Yeah, you get them. You're definitely we... improving yourself as weeks go on. We've got um, a, a, C a three CD set of the best of Inspiral Carpets. How they strang that over three CDs, I've no idea. Yeah, I know. Extraordinary. Um, a number of other CDs, all of which are okay, plus um, a T-shirt and a copy of Marion and Jeff Series One on DVD. Not bad at all in an XFM bag. Well, he's noticed X Men Two isn't there because it's not out yet, but it is at the cinema. So I think Haley should go with what's his name. Well, Shut up. Okay. Right, go on, Carl. Right, the clues are clue one. Um, that, uh <laughs> Ooh, they're having problems, they're Oh, this is- <laughs> Right, brilliant, Rockbusters. This is, <laughs> this is, like, this is what we're doing for. I tell you what, I, I think Foxy was really soft on us. I think he's- oh, go on. This is what we're tuning for, okay, so this- Go on. one again. So uh, go on. <laughs> this is brilliant, come on. <laughs> this is like, who wants your millionaires? Carl. <laughs> come on, Carl, uh, don't worry about him. He doesn't know- he doesn't understand radio, Carl. He, um, he, 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 I heard his show before we had us, he was doing it, it sounded just like Dr. Fox. Yeah. Right, Go on. Uh, clue one, uh, they're, they're having problems, the, uh, <laughs> they haven't, they haven't got any rice. <laughs> <laughs> say it again, and say it like it's written down. Right. Say it like it's like you're reading it as opposed to making it up as you go along. I know you are, but say it again, because all the ums and ahs, people who think are integral. They're, they're having problems. Th they're, uh, do it again. They're having problems, they haven't got any rice left. <laughs> Clue every word. <laughs> that's, that's the matter. Clue. I and love what's that. the what's the initial? CC. CC right. and the clue again. They're having a few problems in that because <laughs> they haven't got any rice left. Different <laughs> every time. Ah, uh, got right. that number one. Uh, second one. The Geordie fella doesn't know what he's been charged for. <laughs> uh, ah. Okay. And what's right. the initials there? B W. Oh. The Geordie fella doesn't know what he's being charged for. Right. And the final one, um, if he had two bricks <laughs> and he had to throw them at two women, right? <laughs> it's not! Right! You've got to go through this without going, right? Oh, no, yeah, just do it again. Just say it again. Think what you're going to say, then say it. I had two bricks. Oh, it, no, it was if I had before. Well, I've got to <laughs> Because I'm gonna burst. Right, Carl, work out what you're gonna say and say it. Right. Okay, just what? calm down. Okay, we just don't want to calm down. Okay, right. I had two bricks to throw at two women yeah. and I didn't hit either of them. Right, okay. The initials MM. Right, okay. so quickly again. Uh, they haven't got I've right. got that! I've got that and it's brilliant! That is a brilliant one! Okay. Right. <sighs> They've, they've run out of rice, they've got problems on their hands. CC, right? The second one, Geordie fella doesn't know what he's being charged for, right? BW. And I had two bricks to throw at two women. Didn't it, it any of them, right? That's, <laughs> that's MM. Email in, uh, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Brilliant, play a record. Win some stuff. It's right. uh, email only, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Oh. Oh. Life on Mars by David Bowie on XFM. Right, come on, we're running out of time. Blockbusters, the results in. Sorry, oh, what a giveaway. <laughs> oh no, embarrassing. I've given it away. <laughs> Straight into monkey news. Go on so, then. Uh, yeah, Blockbusters, what were the clues? Right, the clues were uh, the first one was uh, they're, they're running out of rice, so they've got problems. That was CC, that was China Crisis. Right? Okay, yeah, if they ran out of rice in China it would be a crisis, fair enough. Second one, the, uh, the Geordie fella doesn't know what he's being charged for, right? That was Bill Wyman. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. And the, uh, the third one, I had two bricks to throw at two women and I didn't <laughs> hit either of them, that was Mr. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. <laughs> I let him up, those were alright though. That's extraordinary. The winner? Uh, Gina. I think Gina Ferry. Well done, Gina. And, uh, the reason I gave it to Gina is because she's included, and this is a wonderful segue, some monkey fact, uh, information of her, of her own. She says, apparently, that the group Chumbawamba got their name from one of those monkeys in a room with the typewriter experiments. Someone did it as a joke, and Chumbawamba was a word that was typed out, and that's the group, that's where the group got their name. And apparently. their lyrics. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Which so, is, um, which is good. So let's have official monkey news. Play the <laughs> He's up there thinking, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> How mental is that, Carl? <laughs> what are you thinking, mate? Right, rockbusters. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs>
Straight to it. Straight to it. Go on then, who's the winner? Right, I've go got on. to do the clues again. Right, the first one was, uh, the hitchhiker needs a lift, but in something bigger than a car. Yeah, snappy, go on. VH. Yeah. Right, that was Van Halen. Van Halen. Halen or Van. Cause he wanted something bigger than a car, that's the, that's the first one. Yeah. Uh, All the tenses one. are mixed up, <laughs> everything, it's just, look at uh, one. Second one, don't be selfish, uh, and some of that out to your mates, that was C, that was Cher, alright? It's alright. Yep. And the third one, uh, the Scottish fellas can't get into their emails, the initials there, KL, they, uh, Kenny Loggins. Right. <laughs> That's, that's, that's the last time talk. we do blockbusters. That no. is the last time we do it. No, no. It is. Who's that's the last there? time. Uh, give it, give it, give the prize to someone. Kenny Loggins. Uh, I'm gonna give that one Kenny to- Kenny uh, Loggins. Helen Perrett, she, uh, has emailed in, and, uh, actually Helen, I need you to, uh, email in your address if you would so we can send you those, uh, goodies. Hey. Blockbusters, please. Do you wanna, um, look at the prizes? I'll have a look at the prizes, see what people, uh, can win. It's an email only competition, please remember that. Alright, we've got the, uh, Later with Jules Holland, uh, Louder DVD. There's stuff on there from the Cardigans, Rollins is on there, Mercury Rev, Sonic Youth, the Datsuns, Queens of the Stone Age. Oh, no, wait a minute, they're all great bands, but I think they need a boogie woogie piano at the top of everything <laughs> they do. Well, it's... hopefully Jules Holland would have, uh, Okay, helped. good, good, yeah. good, good. Cause that, there was something missing there on most of those tunes. Yeah, current album from Goldfrap, that's there as well. What have we got this on DVD, The Life of Mammals, the complete series of that. A couple of, uh, we've got the Inspiral Carpets. Again, a three CD set of the best of the Inspiral Carpets. I don't know how they strung it over three CDs. <laughs> um, the best one hit wonders in the world ever. And, uh, let me see. Oh dear. Uh, a three yeah. CD set. A three CD the set. best of Inspiral I'm Inspiral struggling, Carpets. I'm struggling. I'm assuming CD3 is just the Corals album. <laughs> Anyway, there's some, some good things there. You've sourced, oh sourced some good stuff this week. Alright. Well, uh... Alright. Yeah. Here's, here's your right, clue, Alright, rock busters, yeah. Alright. Uh, cryptic clue, a well. couple of initials, and, uh... And you sort that out. Right. <laughs> uh, first what one. What was Dr. Fox on about that we don't... We okay. don't sound like proper presenters. That's strange, isn't it? Uh, it's mad. Go on, Carl. Right, the first one. Uh, a customer wanted some paint to darken up a room. Shop assistant knew what to do. Right? Customer wanted some paint to darken up a room. The shop assistant knew what to do. The initials there, C B. Right? C B. C B for the all first right. one there. Right? Uh second one, it'd be alright if uh if their heads weren't that big. Right? And again? It would be alright if their heads weren't that big. And that's uh, S F. Right? S F. Yeah. And the last one I know that. I know right. that one. Yeah, go on. And the last one, uh Chanel, I've got another perfume out. N O, right? Chanel, I've got another perfume out. N O. You email in Ricky dot Gervais at xfm dot That's not that done. And those prizes can be yours. Yeah. More music, please. Bit of uh, Bob Marley. Are any of these gonna annoy me? Oh, I've got to stir it up. Yeah. Brilliant. Are any of these clues gonna annoy me this week? No, they're all good. Are they really? Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. We'll be the judge of that. Ricky dot Gervais at xfm dot co dot uk. No, stay together. XFM. Well, nearly time to go. But, uh, before we do, a little bit of Rockbuster results. Just checking some of the answers, Rick, and it seems that an awful lot of people have got it right. Go on then. Tell us them again then. Remind us of them before you give us the answers. Alright, Rockbusters number one was like this. It was a customer. We're stopping Monkey News, by the way. Until you start getting some credible ones. Because it. Because that's ridi it's ridiculous. Mm. It's not true. No, it seems, seems mad. But no, it's but it's, it's for the internet again, so anyone, anyone can go online, download that story. It's insubstantial, it, it, it's, get ones, get ones from journals or where the, the source is quoted, okay, mm. or, or yeah, we're not interested, or we're not, we're not, well, you don't, mm. okay, so, it's same with, so, on thin ice. We've, we've pulled this once, we've pulled rock, but we suspended it once, mm. and you came back, again, so it's, do you know what I mean? Mm. So, go on then. Right, so Rockbusters, uh, Rockbusters number one was about a customer who wanted some paint, wanted to darken up a room, the shop assistant knew what to do. What did she do? The initials were CB, Cella Black, right? S Cella Black. Cella some you black You see, paint. I thought Cella Black, cause it's CB, and I thought, well it can't be, cause it's not Cella. It's not Sell Her Black. Cryptic, it's Cilla cryptic though, isn't it? No, no, cryptic doesn't mean it's wrong. Yeah. Uh, they all got it, they all got it anyway, so, it's a bit weird, isn't it? 
Uh, second one, it would be all right if the reds weren't that big, right? Right. The initials uh, are uh, SF. Well, well uh, one of my favourite bands, yeah, yeah. The the smaller faces, isn't yeah. it? Small uh, faces. Well, no, that doesn't make sense. Okay, go on then. Uh, and the final one, uh, Chanel have got another perfume out. Right. Can I just say, we've had an email from one of our, uh, listeners who said, if this turns out to be new order, he's never listening to XFM again. Wait, what's the, what's the clue again? Chanel, I've, I've got another perfume out. N new odour. Right, well that's another listener gone. What do you mean? There's not a group called New Odour. No, it's, it's cryptic. No, it's, it's not- cryptic. that doesn't mean cryptic! Wrong doesn't mean cryptic! It's like saying what animal I'm thinking of. Frog. It- 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 that doesn't mean cryptic. Sell her black. What artist is that? Small faces works. Just about. If I say what animal I'm thinking of, what, what am I Monkey. thinking? Monkey. Well, there you go then. <laughs> so- so it does work. Play a record. <laughs> right? Play a record. So who's a winner? Ah, yes. Now I'm gonna give it to, um, uh, someone who emailed in with the correct answer. <laughs> and he, his name is Steve Martin. <laughs> really? And I've given- I don't know if you've noticed over the last few weeks, I've been given the prize to people with just a kooky element to them, you know, if they well, got people a, to start an amusing name. sending their name in, like, um, uh, Barry Bumpfroyd. Well, don't worry, because I can spot if it's a, if it's a fake comedy name. Or what was that it, last one we laughed at? For I can't no remember what it was, I think it was Gerald something. Yeah, it was, it was just like Gerald Smethurst no, or something. It, what's it, uh, Preston? Gerald, Gerald Preston. Preston. Why is that a funny name? Gerald. Gerry Preston, a great guy, but for Gerald some reason, Preston, we laughed at that. He right. caught my attention. So this week Steve Martin's caught my attention. <laughs> right. Yeah. When was the last time Steve Martin made you laugh? This Steve Martin? Or <laughs> 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 um, Dickers isn't uh, been- Yeah, we've had no correspondence from, from Dickie Anderson for some time, which uh, saddens me. Little Dickmeister General, what is he doing yeah, out there? Has he got- uh, what, he's got like, he's got something better to do? Mm. Mm. Ridiculous. Right. Right. Well, that's, so that's the end, eh? We've got the last song, so is there anything It's the, end, it's the end of Rockbusters, and it's the end of Monkey News. Monkey News will give you one more go for it, and it's gotta be credible, it's gotta be real, it's gotta be true. We need to see your sources, it needs to be yeah. corroborated. Okay. Rockbusters, they've got to be real band names. New Odor. <laughs> New Odor. <laughs> New Odor. <laughs> just anything. Just <laughs> brilliant. Well, well done to Steve, you got them all. So. So is that it then? Yeah. Brilliant. Well, uh, Cheers. I've enjoyed that. I hope your back's better, Rick. Yeah. And, uh, Carl, I hope you, um, buck up your ideas. <laughs> your brain's better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got something interesting about a brain we'll can talk about it next no, week. No, tell it now. No, I'll-, I'll talk Quickly, it what is week. it? No, I'll, I'll leave it. Oh, like that's a hook. Like, people will be going for a week. Oh, I wonder what things were Carl's brain. <laughs> Was it a brain that drove a motorbike <laughs> across oh. to Switzerland? <laughs> You've heard it. <laughs> John Fighting <laughs> M Gervais Merchant Pilkington <laughs> Rockbusters. Oh, brilliant. Is there a jingle for Rockbusters? I don't think there's ever been one, is there? No. Can you come up with one quickly? Oh Rockbusters <laughs> Brilliant. Alright. Well the prizes this week, there's not many, I have to say Carl's not sourced many, but what he's got are actually uh, good quality. Well I've tried to insert in him that it's, you know, Quality, not quantity. Absolutely. As opposed to like fifteen copies of, you know, Falls and Offices Christmas Special with a giveaway three wheeler <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> car <laughs> and uh, Primal Scream's greatest hits on eleven CDs. <laughs> yeah. Not Primal Scream, in Spiral Carpets. Oh, oh, that was it, yeah. 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 Spiral Carpets. Anyway, yeah, we've got um this new KISS FM hip hop classics compilation, which got some really good stuff on there. Uh, new stuff from the likes of, uh, you know, Outkast and the Wu-Tang, but some old classics from Public Enemy, and of course LL Cool J's Mama Said Knock You Out. Mm. It's, one, it's worth having alone for yeah, that track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think this is, is this four CDs? No, two CDs. Um, the Best Air Guitar Album in the World, Volumes 1 and 2, in a special box set. Yeah. You've got all sorts on there. There's May. Brian involved. Adams is on there, Robert Adams, Palmer. May, but also Palmer. excellent stuff, Beastie Boys, Clash, we got The Kinks, so that's good. Abigail's Party, the, um, the DVD thing with Alison Stedman, I know you're quite a fan of that, aren't you, Rick? Yeah, it's good. It's good. She's, um, for many years ago, if you've not seen it, it's, uh, it's good. Uh, this, uh, later with Jules Holland DVD, it's got, uh, live performances from PJ Harvey, the Cardigans, Rollins, is But he is, he is playing Boogie Woogie over their tracks. I would hope so. Okay. Okay, good. And also, is this the new albums from The Thrills? Uh, yeah, it is. Is it the yeah. album? Yeah. yeah. so that's a little, uh, little... Wow. Uh, is that exclusive? It's not even out yet, is it? Oh, no, not even what? out. Not even out. Well, that's the sort of things that Carl can come up with if pushed. 
well, there let's, we are. it's all about the game though, it's all about the game, the prizes are just for fun, mm. it's all about the playing the game, let's yeah. see what Carl's come up with this week, this is his last chance, if I ever hear anything like new odour again, <laughs> that's the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, they, they did get it though, didn't they? So yeah. They're working out, they were doing it. Just a little uh, while, let's have the jingle again. Alright. Oh, Rockbusters! Alright, uh, if you haven't heard it before, cryptic clues, uh, that make up a band, and some initials to help you on your way as well. Mm -hmm. right. So, uh... Well, first, you'd never get it without, but go on. First one, uh, that fella likes sucking on iron. Alright. That fella likes sucking on iron. Yeah, the initial, uh, M. Right. Okay. That fella likes sucking on iron. Right. That's the first one. Second one. Uh, the Jamaican fella spots a boat. Oh God. Say right. that again. The Jamaican fella spots a boat. Spots a boat. Yeah. Right. The Jamaican fella spots a boat. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. Initial there. D. D. Right. D. 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 Okay. D. 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 All right. And uh, the last one. Uh, do you want a game of tug of war? Well, it's up to you. You own it. Right. Interesting. I, I've just got number two. Right. Uh, do you want? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> right. The go third on. one. Do you want a game of tug of war? Well, it's up to you. You own it. And what's right. the initial? E. All of them again, quickly. Right. So the first one. That fella likes sucking on iron. That's M. Second one. Jamaican fella spots a boat. Right. That's uh, D. <laughs> and the last one. Do you want a game of tug of war? Well, it's up to you. It's, you know, you own it. Right. That's like it's a whole story yeah. by the end. That's, right. uh, that's E. Ricky. Ricky. Gervais at xfm.co.uk. Please email phone in. only. Email and we cannot be bothered to answer the phone. Ricky. Gervais at xfm.co.uk. Brilliant. White Excellent. Excellent. Oh. Radio Ahead. They're there on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington with the answers. To Rockbusters, the the biggest quiz on radio, probably. Mm -hmm. Do you want to remind us the? Quiz? No, no, no. You mean the crappiest quiz on radio? Yeah. Right. Um, first one was uh, that fella likes sucking on iron. Yeah. Right. The uh, the initial was M. Yeah. What was the band? It was Metal Liquor. Right. What's or Metal Liquor? No, wait, wait. I've never heard of a band, Metal Liquor. Metallica. Metal no, you said, yeah, you said metal liquor. I don't understand. Yeah, me metal liquor, metallica. Yeah. What? <laughs> no, say it again. Say it again and try and make metallica sound like metal liquor. <laughs> me metal liquor, metallica, me metal liquor. <laughs> Is he having a fit? <laughs> say it again. Make metallica sound like metal liquor. Metallica, metal liquor. Okay, next one. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Uh, second one, the uh, Jamaican fella spots a boat. That, yeah. that was easy. That was D. That was Debarge. Uh, you got that. Make it sound like the band. Debarge. Make it sound like a Jamaican fella saying spotting a boat. Debarge. <laughs> right. So you got that one. Okay. And uh, the last one. Do you want a game of tug of war? Well, it's up to you. You own it. Yeah. Right. That was E. That yeah. was your rope. Right. Europe. Europe. Right. Who did the final count now? Yeah. So that that's the... No, uh, what, what, we've let that go? <laughs> that's the three answers for this week. Who's the winner, Steve? Well, again, I mean, there are lots and lots of people who got it right, Rick. So I don't know if it's just us that think this is rubbish. Right. But, who's the winner, um... Who's the winner? Well, you know, I'm always a fan of people with just something, a, a name, I don't know, that maybe tickles me. <laughs> yeah. And sadly, I did want to give it to... <laughs> I wanted to give it to Daniel Jowett <laughs> because I just, for some reason, Danny People Jowett. People are going to start, stop. But stop sadly, I just realised he got it wrong, so I'm going to give it to a different Dan. So not only did you ridicule his name, he's not even getting the prizes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, better luck next time, um, Danny Jowett. Instead, I'm giving it to Dan Mason um, of Ilford, so he got them right and he wins those prizes. All right, well, okay. More of that next week. I mean, what what do we think? We'll, uh, do it, we'll do it next week then. Do yeah. Again. Okay. What are you doing now? Got a record or what's that? Uh, hoople. But I'm not the hoople. Oh, the hoople. hoople. Yeah. Hoople. The hoopsters. Monkey news. Next. All right.